Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and this is going to be a full review of the Vaxi Outset AX. If you guys don't know Vaxi, they're the former mouse designers for Zowie. They launched their own company, doing their own thing, making some new shapes. Um, this was sent out to me for a review, so major thank you to them. Not going to influence the review. Um, but something I see a lot with basically any Ergo mouse is people just compare it to the EC2. People are just saying, oh, this is like a bigger EC2. I feel like there's a bit more like nuance to fucking Ergo shapes than just like how close it is to the EC2. This is a mouse that it doesn't really look that large, but it once you get it in hand, it is fucking, it is basically begging you to just engulf your palm into the shape. Um, it's kind of insane, and it's something I didn't think I was going to like, and I do have fairly large hands, 20 by 11. If you have small hands, this is a palm grip only mouse. I promise you that. If your hands are under like oof i'd say like 18.5 by 10 like the only viable grip for you is going to be palm grip for me i could actually like fingertip it like sort of well but this is an 80 gram mouse and anything any like 80 gram ergo mouse is going to feel like inherently clunky for fingertip compared to like a 60 gram like ultra lightweight option um but i found that i was actually able to claw grip it um but it's like a really hard grip to do where i have to make sure that my palm isn't in the mouse at all times because it's very easy for me to fall into this like relaxed claw type grip and i just don't aim as well with that um, so it's definitely a shape that took me some getting used to, and I still don't have the grip on it like 100% down. Um, I do think the coating, the updated coating they're using, is pretty fucking nice. And if you have like really sweaty hands, um, it will probably like show prints on the uh, base. But it is also water resistant. A lot of coatings have just started to become like waterproof. That's super cool and awesome. Unfortunately, this faux hean is not waterproof. Um, next up, gonna talk about the skates. Um, Vaxi used to use 0.4 millimeter PTFE feet, and I shit on it in the uh, NP01 review. And it seems that they have listened because now these are 0.6 millimeters. Um, they still don't provide extra feet out of the box. Um, I feel like they should just throw it in the package. This is a $60 mouse um, so I feel like that is value that should be a standard but at the end of the day if you really want the best mouse feet you can just order some core pads they are using the uh, same design as the NP01 did so like no different models for the mouse feet that's pretty nice um, also something I mentioned they did kind of like tone down the zowiness in the scroll wheel and I will demonstrate this to you by a sound test um, because people in my stream were complaining that the uh, outset AX was loud but holy shit listen to the MP01 So it's a much less rigid scroll wheel, um, so I feel like some people would prefer that because people just hate on the Zowie style, um, but still very defined steps, and it's not like mushy. And yeah, I am personally fine with the scroll wheel. Just wanted to note that it definitely changed and is not like as rigid as before. Also, um, something that didn't change were the clicks. These are still using the Huano 10Ms and they are extremely light, pretty tactile. Um, these are just some of like the best quality clicks I've ever felt. Extremely well tensioned. Um, I don't know why they still have this like different style of coding on the clicks. It took me a few days to get used to it. And uh, even once I got used to it, I, I still don't really understand its purpose but yeah getting back to the clicks as i mentioned before they are just like quality there is virtually no like pre-travel on them and they claim that there is some intentional post travel to assist with click feel and honestly i never heard of that before but the click feeling on this mouse is superb and the post travel never affects me negatively and next up is the cable. I'm still hating on this cable. Um, doesn't seem to be changed. It's still not soft and flexible. Pretty like heavy duty, I guess. They say they focus on durability. Good job, durable cable. Um, I'm going to be swapping it out with a paracord though. Um, but proportionally to the mouse, I don't feel like the cable is really weighing it down. Like if this cable is on the HSK, it would be a much bigger issue. Um, and it is angled up and you can even like bend the plastic up even more if you want, um, which is super swag and awesome. 
And I know some people are seeing this as just a $60 wired mouse with a bad cable. Like, why should I buy it? And I really think it just comes down to if you want a shape like this or not. Obviously, um, something like this is really out of my comfort zone. And even after I got used to it and used this mouse for a while, um, I still just think to myself, like, why, why am I not using the super light right now? Um, but if you are into, like, these comfortable, which is very awkward, um, if you grip your mouse naturally, I think you'll be a large fan of this mouse. Um, it is just so high up that, like, when you just put your hand on it, it's basically just, like, like I said before, begging for you to just put your palm in it. Um, I can, like, kind of redacted grip it. It's, like, one of the first mice I can successfully redacted grip, um, and that is saying something. And the Outset AX is really not a long mouse, but it is very wide, and it is, I cannot stress enough how tall this mouse feels in hand. It's probably one of the most ergo shapes I have ever personally tried, and I know I was, like, shitting on people comparing it to the EC2, um, but I guess, like, an EC2, like, amplified. Basically just taking all of the aspects of a mouse that make it ergo and just slightly amplifying them, that is what you wind up with um, with the Outset AX. And also, um, some people hate on it, but I kind of do fuck with just like the minimal look. Like there is just nothing going on. This is pure mouse, kind of base. Also, a slight nitpick of mine that's going to sound really weird since I've like never complained about this before, but I wish there was like better comfort groups in the clicks. Um, I know that they had like really intense ones on the old like first samples of the NP01 but then people like basically said no to that so then they kind of ditched it completely um, but I wish they were a bit more defined to maybe make the mouse a bit more comfortable for me um, but yeah with the shape of this mouse and the weight if you have small hands I would just really not recommend it and the weight of 80 grams is a bit heavier than we're used to seeing at this point in 2021 with gaming mice. Um, but honestly, after a few days, I got used to it. I feel like it's a fine weight for this mouse. I would prefer if it was lower. Not going to happen. Um, but the mouse is just so large in hand. I don't feel like the weight's really taking away from it. And uh, it's made up for by the quality. This thing is fucking solid. This is an item that you could do some serious harm with. And it will not break on you. Like, they try to make these products like very high quality and that is clear um also really not sure if i went over the side buttons yet they are pretty nice very tactile they feel a bit improved compared to the uh, np01 ones but it just may because the buttons are larger themselves and that's just a bit more comfortable for me i was using this mouse in fortnite and while it was like kind of annoying to use such a large shape um while you're like moving the mouse around so much the side button positioning and the overall button feel was fucking spectacular um now to the back of the mouse um the sensor i believe it's a 3389 just fucking cool sensor no problems with it and i think their onboard configuration is probably one of the best they have a debounce time button i've been rocking with four you can rock with two or eight um doesn't really matter i would just recommend staying on four if you don't really care um obviously the polling rate button and the dpi button it's really like all you need on the mouse and you can adjust the lod on the mouse as well um but yeah when you buy a vaccine mouse, you're spending $60 to get the mouse, literally nothing else. Um, so no extra goodies in the bag. This is not a fucking G-Wolves product. And I guess the last thing to really talk about is the coating. And it is definitely improved over the NP01's, like, half-glossy, extremely slippery coating. Um, it's definitely a bit less slippery and, like, slightly rubberized. Um, better than the Origin 1X, but you can still see that it picks up fingerprints. And uh, if you have sweaty hands, the sweat is just going to, like, oddly rest on the mouse um, because it is another type of, like, water-resistant coating as you can see um but yeah that's i guess that's all there really is to say about this mouse um it has its place in the market it's not going to get the boardsy seal of approval um, because it's going to be a massively hit or miss shape and unless you're used to like large feeling ergos already i think that it's just gonna be a fucking weird experience to use this mouse and i know a lot of people who watch my videos like this is not really the type of mouse that they're in the market for and uh, i thought i was gonna like it a lot less than i actually wound up liking it obviously there's just a ton of room on the sides it, it's just like a large shape and uh, it's something that i appreciate because i have larger hands um, but if i had small hands or if i wasn't claw gripping i would absolutely fucking loathe this mouse um, but yeah i think that's really all for this video um good mouse for tack fps because palm grip shape lol like and sub